YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with my empties. My box is empty because I have everything spread out in front of me, categorized. So let's get started because mine are always long because I talk too much. So first off, we start with makeup, and then I go through all of my other stuff, and then lastly, I go through foil samples in case people don't want to watch that. First, I have the Physician's Formula Organic Wear BB Mascara. This was okay. I mean, it wasn't great, but... One problem with it is that it dried out kind of fast, but I've had it for over a year, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. I have, it wasn't open before that. Here is the wand, which was my other issue with it. One side literally kind of looks like it's broken. And I don't think it is. I think that's just how they designed the wand, so I didn't like that. This is a drier form, form of mascara. I do like the one in the pink tube that they sell that I think is like a little bit of extension fibers or something, so. I would repurchase that over this, and with Physician's Formula, I usually wait until there's some kind of sale. Because CVS will regularly do like a 40% off of Physician's Formula sale. I have my Miraness Sexy Secret Eye Primer. It's a mini, and no, this does not look like makeup. It looks like something crazy. This was okay. Miraness is an Australian brand, so I can't get it too readily. It does come up on Hope Look a lot for cheap, because this is like $15 normally. This couldn't quite keep up with my sweatiness. If I wasn't doing much that day, this made a great eye primer, but if I was gonna get super sweaty, this didn't hold up as much as I would like. Okay, I have a sample of the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion Foundation. I did a first impression on the Physician's Formula version, which I liked better than this. I will say that right now. For one thing, the shade on this is the W3. I am W1 in L'Oreal's brand of foundations. So this was way too dark for me. W2 would be the only one that would possibly work for me because that is their lightest warm shade. They don't have the ones for some reason. And also this is just too dewy for me. I am extremely oily skin. Stuff like this can only work for me in the dead of winter. I have a lip balm. I actually have two lip balms in here. This is from Maybelline. It is in Baby Lips in Fierce and Tangy. I tried to pan this for my finish five by Cinco de Mayo, but I didn't quite finish it up. But it's okay for a lip balm. It looks like it's yellow, but it's basically clear. But I stopped using it when it started scratching my lips really bad. It was worth the dollar that I paid for it at the Dollar Tree because they don't sell this electric line anymore or electro electric whatever they're called and that's unfortunate because the colored ones of these were the ones of the baby lips line that had the most color but it's fine i finished my elf high definition under eye setting powder it is all gone for three dollars this lasted me like six months of straight usage cl almost closer to seven months of straight usage so, and I did really like the effect. I know some people don't like the shimmer in this, but it doesn't bother me because there is like some light shimmer, but I don't think it translates onto the face. I think it just helps kind of like brighten the under eye. So if I needed an under eye setting powder, which right now I do not, I have a couple of translucent powders that work fine. This is what I would purchase because you get a lot of product for $3. So I would definitely recommend that. This is my other lip balm. This is a Jane Iredell Just Kiss Leap, Lip and Cheek Stain. It is in the pink version, and I used that up a lot more. I love this lip balm. It does, it's one of those pH lip balms that turns a light pink, or they also have an orange version that I'm now using. I love the formula. It's nice and thick without being heavy, and I actually, once I go through a bunch of my lip balms, this is what I'm going to purchase. I'm a, the full size is $25, which sounds ridiculous, but I mean, it's if, as my husband put it, if it's something I love and know I'll use, then it doesn't matter if it's that much. And the cushion to the loony thing fell out. Gross. All right. I have a colored mascara. This is the Great Lash Green with MB by Maybelline Limited Edition. I know this is a couple of years old, but I hadn't opened it until a while ago. I do keep my colored mascaras longer than my normal ones because I don't use them very often. But once they start to bug my eyes a little bit, I go ahead and toss them. So this still has product in it, but it was definitely time to go. It was a pretty green color. This is something that I would use on my bottom lashes for an extra pop of color. Not that I'm afraid of color or anything like that, obviously. 
but I don't really like this formula, so I would not purchase it in a normal version, but if they came out with the colors again, I might repurchase it then. And finally for makeup, I, I have the Model Co Illusion Lip Liner. As you can see, the bottom comes off now. Normally this comes with a sharpener, but I got this from Ipsy. It was a full size though, so I'm counting it as a full size. I actually do like this lip liner. It really grew on me more and more the more I used it. It is nice and creamy. Let me see if I can get a little bit of a swatch. Yeah. It is supposed to be like the color of your lips and it did match mine pretty well. So I didn't, I was fine with that. If Model Co was easier for me to get, I would easily repurchase this. I do have a mini that I also got from Birchbox. So I still have it right now. I don't know if I would repurchase this necessarily right now when I do run out of it because I have to order it online and probably have to pay some ridiculous shipping cost unless I order it from Birchbox I guess but I did unsubscribe from Birchbox because of the whole points fiasco hopefully if they ever bring them back I will happily resubscribe but uh, I guess I could purchase this from the website though and this does last a good while so I wouldn't feel that bad spending $16 on a lip liner all right let me start off with skincare because that's like the one that well it doesn't I don't have the least of it but I have a lot of empties this time guys actually let me start with these I finished two nail products which is really rare for me I finished my ruffian nail lacquer in ruffian red I got this in the birch box as well this is a really nice red but this is a ten dollar bottle and it's kind of small so I would probably not repurchase that but it was really nice while it lasted and this is my NYC in a minute quick dry top coat. It's called Grand Central Station. I know there's a little bit left in there, but it's gone goopy. I have revived it several times with nail polish thinner. And as you can see, it has gone pink to the point of changing the color of my nail polish. So I decided that I was done with it. It is a really good quick dry one. However, if you guys can recommend me a better one, please feel free. And not sesh feet. I hate the smell of that. I cannot stand it. But I will pay 10 or $15 for a good top coat because I do have a really hard time sitting still or not using my hands for everything, including talking. So I tear up my nails all the time. So a quick dry top coat that is at least slightly chip resistant, I will pay a lot of money for if I can get a good one. Whew, I guess I will go with skincare next. I have masks. I have two of these Papa Recipe Bombi Honey Masks. I did a review on these on Instagram because I got these through a company that I will link their Instagram down below. They, if you do reviews on Instagram or Facebook, they will occasionally send you free products and that is how I got these. I got five of them guys. They were not kidding around. They sent full size products. These were nice though. They did smell a lot like honey and they left my skin moisturized. I mean, they're $21 for a box of 10 of them. So if you like the smell of honey and you like paper masks, I say go for it. They are a Korean brand, but I think you can get this off of Amazon. So they're not hard to get at all. I have a Scenic, S-C-I-N-I-C, -I -I the Right Self Clinic Black Dual Mask Wrinkle Energy. So it's like a separate two-part mask. You can kind of see it on here like these two-part masks like this one went down my neck and it felt really weird and slimy and I, I did not really enjoy this I was happy to try it but I, I would not repurchase here is one I would repurchase and if I ever run out of paper masks these are the ones that I would pay like buy like the 10 pack of these are the creme shop collagen face mask sheets they sell a pink lemonade one too that is good for acne but these are really good if you just want a straight moisturizing mask that really plumps up your skin for a little while. So I highly recommend those. And I have a Sephora Rose Lip Mask. This thing was huge, guys. I don't know. Uh, my lips were really torn up from the EOS Sweet Mint Lip Balm. It like dried my lips to the point of cracking before I finally rest. Stupid, stop using something that's hurting you. Not You can't project pan stuff if it's going to like tear up your lips. So I used this and it did help put some moisture back in. It didn't totally fix them, my lips that is, but it did help a lot and it made it feel really nice. And the rose smell, which I hate heavily rose scented things, it was there, but it was not overpowering. I could sit with this on my lips, but like I said, it went like all around my lips. And I have a pretty big bottom lip. So 
The thing was huge. But for $3 for fun, go ahead and try it. I have some Swiss Burr's cotton rounds. These are the hypoallergenic 100% cotton rounds. I don't get them because they're hypoallergenic. I get them because they're the ones that are stitched on the outside, which means they don't come apart quite as easily. I bought some Walgreens ones after this because I was in a hurry and in a pinch and I didn't feel like going all the way to Walmart just to buy cotton rounds. But the next time I am, time I am in Walmart, I will probably buy a couple of packs of these because these are cheaper than the Walgreens ones and they do pretty much the same thing. I have a Murad Acne and Wrinkle Reducer Serum type thing. I don't think this did anything, so I would not try it again or recommend it. I have a Whey Purifying Mud Mask. This is one of those little pods. I enjoyed this, but Whey is really expensive, and I don't think there was anything special enough to repurchase. It's like $60 for eight pods, so I would, no. The Bee Venom one is really nice, and one day when I am rich, somehow or another, I would happily repurchase that one, but not the Mud Mask one. I finally finished this. It took like two or three months. This is the Biore Baking Soda Pore Cleanser. I really like this. It does leave me like super clean afterwards. I don't know if I would repurchase though because I have found something I like a little better. Even though it's more expensive, I really like it. So I would probably repurchase that instead, but I would not turn down more bottles of this. And who knows, I might change my mind because I can get this at the drugstore and it has a pump, which is always good. My failure with Polish Choice continues. This is the Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Salicylic Acid. This did nothing for my skin, and I used it more often than you probably should. I was using it every night. So, I know you're supposed to use this like three times a week, but I was just frustrated with looking at it in my bathroom, so I used it more often. I had like 12-step skincare for a while because I was trying to get rid of some of these extra steps that don't do anything for me. But I would not repurchase that. I have a sunscreen that broke. This is the Tarte Tarte Guard 30 SP, SPF 30. Uh, the pump broke. You're making a liar of me, you bastard. I don't know. I don't care. It broke for a while. But I don't get specialty high-end sunscreen. If it's the only thing that doesn't make you break out, go for it. But this is still like a mineral sunscreen. It has titanium oxide in it. So if that's the kind of ingredient that freaks you out, this is not going to solve your problem. I have two things from the brand Belief. I have the Hungarian Water Essence and the Bergamot Herbal Extract Toner. This is, I think, supposed to be the one for oily skin, and I don't think it did anything special. So I would not repurchase that. This Hungarian water essence felt really nice going on the skin. Maybe because essence, as far as I could tell, is just like an extra step of hydration. I have really oily skin, so I don't really need that. Maybe if my skin gets super dry in the winter for some reason, because around here we don't have that cold of winters. If it did, I would purchase this as an extra boost of hydration. But as of now, I don't think I need an essence. And just because I don't need that extra jump boost of hydration which is kind of a bummer but what can you do okay I have the Lorac Mesolift serum I really like this actually but the full size is $60 and that's a bit much for me however if I was going to buy an expensive serum this is probably what I would buy this is more expensive than my holy grail the Ole Hendrickson truth serum I can buy an ounce of that for $50 and this is 60 and I think it's an ounce as well so I would probably stick to that but I do think this does help brighten my skin as well so I would recommend it if you are looking for a serum to brighten your skin and you don't mind spending $60 <laughs> I've only seen it for sale on Amazon though I got that in one of those Amazon beauty boxes that they do every now and then the luxury ones which makes sense that was in there because it's a luxury <laughs> no kidding and I also have this Origins Maskamizer. It's that little spray that I got in my Play by Sephora box a few months ago. This doesn't do anything. I finally managed to use it up. I just kept forgetting to use it. It's not that this had, this probably only had like four or five uses, which it's a gimmick. I was really curious about it, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to do anything. So who cares? I helped my husband finish this. This is his conditioner. This is the Garnier Fruitis 
Triple Nutrition Fortifying Conditioner. I love this because it smells so good. And then, because when he finishes a shampoo, he usually will not finish the conditioner with it. So I took this and I used it the last time. Even though it looks like there's more in there, I can't get it out. So this is really nice for dry damaged hair. Uh, it messes with my color a little bit. As you can see, I did redo it finally. But, you know, if you just have, you know, dry hair, this is really nice. Speaking of shampoo and conditioner, we both finished this as well. This was a rarity because we don't usually, I don't go through shampoo and conditioner very fast because because of colored hair, I don't wash my hair every day, which I know skeeves some people out, but it's just a fact of dying hair. This is the L'Oreal Paris Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. We, My husband and I both used this. I got this from Influence during like January. It does smell really good. It has that kind of natural oil smell. It comes with argan, calomel, coconut, amla, soha, and sunflower oil. So it was really nice. I would purchase this again for him because L'Oreal, the advanced hair care, you can usually get a really good deal on it. If we weren't stocked up to the brim with shampoos and conditioners, both normal ones for him and hair colored ones for myself, I would easily purchase this again for him and it works fine on my hair too. Like it doesn't strip my hair color too much. I mean the stuff is not permanent hair color so it fall, it comes out relatively easily. This is my hair color. This is the Enrage Color and Twisted Teal. There is a tiny bit left but this is my one complaint about this. The bottle is really hard to use. You have to like store it upside down and then pray that you get it all out but you never do so i actually opened another bottle of it but because i literally used this much i just sealed it and put it back under my sink so that when i am ready to dye my hair again if nothing has gone weird or off about it i will probably just reuse that bottle this is the stuff that smells like bubble gum by the way it is 9.99 a bottle but you don't have to add anything to it and this one bottle will do most of my hair honestly like I was trying to do an ombre with it because I had the blue ends and it's a slight ombre but because the teal was so close to what the blue had turned into it didn't quite work so I tried I tried to be creative with my hair it just didn't quite work out this is the bumble and bumble prep a powder I finally finished this this was another one I was having trouble finishing it is a dry shampoo that comes in a little powder version. I ripped the top off because I couldn't get the last bits of it out. But if I had to recommend this, I recommended this to a friend of mine because she has a really sensitive scalp and she can't use normal dry shampoos. I think this might work better than a regular like spray on dry shampoo. That is my guess. I have no idea if it would or not. This is kind of on the expensive side, but for what it is, you, it will take you forever to go through it. And I go through spray dry shampoos in like a month to a month and a half. So, and this little bugger lasted me like three months. So it's expensive, but you're gonna have it longer than like a Batiste dry shampoo. So, you know, weigh your options. This is the Living Proof Style Lab Prime Style Extender Spray. This was okay. I prefer the cream more than the spray, so that is what I would repurchase. This is made for fine hair though, so if the cream is too heavy for you, you might want to try the spray. This is the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It Hair Styler. I got this in a bir not a birch box, no, a Play by Sephora box. This is something you, this is a cream you add to your hair and let air dry, and this does work magnificently for that. The Pantene Pro-V BB Hair Balm does the exact same thing and it has a heat protectant in it though and you can get that from the drugstore. So if they stopped making that, this is what I would buy in its stead. However, until they stop making that, I see no reason to purchase this one. The other one works just the same for me. Oh holy mother, it finally finished. This is the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff. I'm sick of it right now because it took me forever to finish off. But for $17.95, and you can get this at a Walmart now for the most part, they now sell this, the healthy sexy hair stuff along with the big sexy hair stuff in Walmart, or at least they do in mine. So once I run out of all my little minis, this is probably what I'm going to repurchase because, well, it works. 
and it's cheaper than say like the it's a 10 and I don't like the smell of it's a 10 I also have the Husk Essentials Express Blow Dry Hair Drying Spray. This I got this for free in a buy two get one free Husk thing. Like I bought my shampoo and conditioner and I picked this out to try. I'm glad I didn't pay anything for it because it doesn't do anything. So I would not recommend that. This is the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. It's just a little mini I got from Birchbox. This is a good texturizing spray. The Parlor by Jeff Chastain texturizing spray that you can get from Birchbox too is half the price and it does the same thing. So I can't recommend this. Heck, most drugstore texturizing sprays work almost as good as this and they're not $44 for a full bottle. Don't waste your money on the full size. Finally for hair, I have the Urban Essence 12 pack shower caps. I use these when I dye my hair. I get this from the Dollar Tree. They work great. So I need to go repurchase some more before I dye my hair again. Body. I have the Intimate Tropical Coconut Hibiscus Body Spray. I use this primarily as a room spray, but it's fine as a body spray too. You get this from Dollar Tree. I do recommend it. I have the Bliss Aloe Leaf and Peppermint Foot Patrol AHA Exfoliating Cream. This was really nice. I have stuff I like a little better for my feet, honestly. I like the, what's it called? The CeraVe Healing Ointment, the one that comes in the big tub. I like that better for my feet, but this is really good too, and I would not turn it down to use again. This on the other hand, I would. It is the Wish CC Body Cream. I thought this was just like a regular like body lotion. This has glitter. I looked like a disco fairy wanker, I think is how I put it when I re reviewed it on my Instagram. Like, I was covered in body shimmer. I remember going out when I was like 14 years old, trying to impress the older dudes at the bowling alley where we hung out at a lot, being bad girls, trying to bump cigarettes off of people. Yes, I, I was a bad child. And wearing body glitter in the year 2000, 2001. That is what this looked like to me. I would never purchase this again. And if I ever got another sample of it, I would burn it. I looked like an asshole with all that glitter on. Ugh. Let's see, we have the Body Shop Coconut Shower Cream. So this is a shower bathing thing, but in a cream form, it was really nice. However, the plastic is too hard for this thick of shower gel to come out on. I would like, I broke it basically, trying to squeeze it all out. So I really like the product, but they gotta do something about that packaging. This is, this is a Dr. Carver Shave Butter. You get this from the Dollar Shave Club. I love this stuff. I have already reordered another one. It should be in soon. It will make you smell like a dude, but I have no problem with that. This is my razor head, not head, the other part, the body, whatever. Um, this, these are really great quality. However, because I am clumsy, I have dropped mine so many times that the little holder right here will stay in the pressed up position. When I like shave my legs, the blade will not come back down. I have to force it back down. And I'm tired of doing that. This is only like six bucks. I'm not broke. So I bought another one. This is a K Bella Intensive Foot Mask. These, this foot thing, like the little sock that goes on, barely fit over my eight and a half foot. I do not have big feet. I have kind of small feet. Not like tiny geisha feet or anything, but at least compared to all my friends growing up, all my friends had like size 10 and 11 feet. I don't know why, but I had the tiny feet of my friends. But not only did, was this, you know, really tight on my foot, it didn't do anything. It totally had like stuff inside, but it didn't do anything. Like I didn't think my feet were really any softer. So would not recommend that. This is another thing that I got from this, from that company, the same that I got the uh, honey mask from. It's like O.8USA. Like I said, I will link their Instagram down below because that's how you get to their sites through their Instagram on your phone. I use this on my dogs. <laughs> This is a Unohana powder mineral for skin. This is a bath powder, like a, it's like a bath salt. It's like bath salts. That's a, that's a term, but it was in just a powder form. Now, the reason why I decided to use this on my dogs, I have another one to use on myself, by the way. They sent me two of these and a giant bar of soap. Uh, this has a very herbally scent, but it does smell really nice to me. And on the back, it says that you can use it on your babies. And when I looked them up on Instagram, I like use their hashtags. I saw some people using it on their dogs. So I'm like, hey, I'll use this on my dogs. 
they still smell really good like four days later and it hasn't like made their hair fall out or anything that people worry about they've been less itchy because this is actually made for like dry itchy skin and they have been less itchy lately so i'm taking it as a win i might actually buy the tub of this and keep using it on my dogs it is bright acid yellow in the bathtub though it literally looks like they peed in the bathtub <laughs> Just being honest. So that is one kind of freaky thing about it, but this is actually really good. I'm looking forward to using it on myself as well, but I seriously might purchase this to use on my dogs. And that sounds so dumb and wasteful, but if it makes if it makes them less itchy, I think it's worth it because they are itchy little bastards. I have a bubble bath. This is Iron Man 3 Berry Blast Bubble Bath. I bought this at Big Lots. It smelled really good. It smelled amazingly like berries, and the bubbles lasted a decent while. I don't think I can get this anymore though, because you know Iron Man 3 has been out for like three years now. <laughs> so, if I could find that again, I probably would buy it. Not just because it's Iron Man; it's actually a pretty decent bubble bath. And finally, I for body care, I guess I have the Presario Liquid Aftershave Cream. I got this in a Amazon luxury beauty box as well. This was nice. Um, my dog scratched the front of my calves, my shins technically, and they get really red. And when I shave over that, they get really irritated. But it's just that part because they like to scratch me right there because they want my attention. And they are about knee height when they stand up on their two legs. This really helped with that. I don't know if I would buy necessarily this aftershave liquid cream. Once I go through my other little mini, I got another Amazon luxury beauty box. But I would probably buy a aftershave cream once I am gone through that because it really does help. Okay, I think I just have samples left. Yeah, yep, I just have samples left. So I will not hate you if you tune out now. Thank you for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. And if you're hanging around for the samples, I don't have a ton, but I do have a good bit. Let's see, let me gather them all up here. These are only sort of samples. They are the, they're not really samples, but they come in individual packs, so I stuck them with them. These are the Sephora brush wipes. I've mentioned this a couple of different times. I really like these, because I like they're individually wrapped for travel. But I'll probably rebuy the Wet n Wild brush wipes because you get more for less. You get a big pack of them for like $2.99. But if you ever need like a filler in a Sephora basket, these are really good and they're only like seven bucks. How many shampoos do I have in here? I think I only have three. Yeah, and two of these sucked and one of them was fine. The fine one was the Garnier Futrice Grow Strong. I have no idea. I would have to use a whole bottle to know if it helped my hair grow or anything like that, but Garnier smells really good. So I would happily use more Garnier samples. These two, on the other hand, neither one was great. This is the Rita Hazan True Color Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, these smelled kind of funky, and they were both really thin, so I didn't really care for them. And I basically had the same problem with this Bumble and Bumble Full Potential Hair Preserving Shampoo and Conditioner. They smelled kind of funky, and they were really thin, and I know some people say you should use a thinner conditioner on color-treated hair, but because my hair is so bleached underneath it, I can't. This was also a bust. It was the... Alterna Bamboo Silk Sleek Brilliance Cream. This was also a really stinky one, so I did not like it. This is a L'Oreal Paris Total Repair 5 Deep Conditioning Balm. It's a deep conditioning mask. I used to own a big tub of this before my house burned down. I don't know if I finished it or not. I just can't remember anymore. This is really good for just a basic drugstore deep conditioner. I still love my Dollar Tree one, but if you don't have a Dollar Tree near you or you have some weird thing about buying a deep conditioner from the Dollar Tree. Some people do. More power to you. I don't. This is a good drugstore alternative and you do get a ton of it. Like it is a giant tub. And L'Oreal Advance goes on sale all the time. I have a Beauty Blender cleanser. I do like this. It does smell a little weird. I noticed that this time. But I, the Dr. Bronner's liquid hand soap or whatever it's called, I like that fine for cleaning my beauty blender and I like the bar soap for cleaning my beauty blender as well. So I don't see the point of purchasing this, but it does work really nicely. I 
think I only have t I don't have a ton of samples this month, thank god. I have the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. This is the cream I was talking about. I really like this. I will eventually repurchase it. I did have a mini that I went through last month. I have the Biolage Fiber Strong Intra Silene Fortifying Cream. This was really nice. Biolage is a really nice brand. They are expensive though, so that's why I don't usually buy them, but I'm always happy to use whatever they got. I have a Benefit Air Patrol BB Cream Eyelid Primer. This does work nicely for me. I did let it dry out a little bit before I finished it, but I like that it's yellow because it kind of corrects on my eyelids, so I would happily use another one of those. If I ever completely ran out of eyelid primer, I might purchase it because it is expensive. I have two body creams. I hated the Soap and Glory Righteous Body Butter. The scent of it gave me a headache. It did moisturize nicely, but I can't do that scent. And I have the Juara Candle Nut Body Cream. This does smell really nice. So I'm, I don't know if I would ever purchase the Juara stuff because they're kind of expensive for what they are, but I will happily use more samples. And finally, I have two perfectly posh samples that a friend of mine sent me. Let's see, this is the one that I would, to I am totally about repurchasing once I go through a couple of my overnight things. This is the Apricot Overnight Mask. This is basically like a sleeping cream, which I do like despite oily skin. I mean, that's why I don't have to use something like an essence is because I use like an overnight mask every once in a while too. And I use like face paper masks. This does smell really good like apricots, which I enjoyed. So I would, like I said, if I, when I go through my other two sleeping creams, I might totally repurchase this. I really enjoyed that. Next is the BFF Best Friends Forever Scrub. This was also really nice. I don't know if this is any different from a regular drugstore scrub, but it did have that nice kind of medium scrubby action that I prefer. I like mine more on the harsher side, but I don't want to like tear up my face either. And this had that good middle ground for me. So I don't know if they ever discontinued my St. Ives Green Tea Scrub, I would probably purchase this, but you know, I got a good one in the drugstore, so I don't know. Maybe if I was making a big order, I would toss this on. Whew. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's always a really appreciate it, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!